All right, so we just got our package right here. This is the package by Mighty Macro. Let's open up the product and see what it looks like inside. So inside they have the installation, you guys can see. All the products are in here. So basically this is what the inside looks like. You can see RMBO is in here. They have the ice pack right here to keep it refrigerated, which is pretty cool. And then we have our meals here. So the one that they provided for us is a 10 uh, meals. So there's 10 different meals right here. And this one I believe is a scope planning, if you guys can see. So you can choose like the different plans on which one you guys want to use depending on what you guys are focusing on. So the first one that I have right here is the Mexican Steak Rancho. Next one that we have right here is their Chinese orange chicken. Next one that we have right here is their shrimp alfredo. Next one that we have right here is the Mongolian beef noodles. Next one that we have here is the sweet and sour chicken. Next one that we have here is their sesame beef. Next one we have here is the Thai fish curry. Next one we have here is the Korean bulgogi beef. Next one that we have right here is the herb uh, salmon. And the last and final one that we have right here is the buttery beef tri-tips. So those are the 10 meals that was provided for us and they should see the ice pack in here. So these ice packs are actually reusable if you guys want to use it for next time, but that's up to you guys. And it's also really cool how you guys get to choose like which kind of meal plan you guys want to uh, do. So like weight loss, uh, bulk gain, uh, scope, whatever you guys want to choose, that's up to you guys. And there's also choose like what kind of like meal you guys want. So if you guys want more like Asian cuisine or like a Mexican cuisine, American cuisine, and the list goes on. They have a lot of different like cuisine uh, option for you guys. So it's definitely really cool how to show you guys the nutrition facts here, but also show you guys like the ingredients here and how much is like the protein, the carbs, and fat in each one of these actual meal set itself. And then also show you guys how to cook the product. So you guys have the option to either microwave it or you guys can cook it on a stove top if you guys want to. And I believe the bottom part right here is the best buy date. So you should finish eating it before this date right here in the bottom. So that's basically everything that was provided for us. Let me actually go do a quick test of maybe one or two of these and give it a try and see what it tastes like. All right, so I think I'm gonna try these out right here. So we have the Thai fish curry, we have the Chinese orange chicken, and then we have the Mexican steak rancho, if you guys can see right here. So what I'm gonna do instead of using the microwave is actually putting it onto a plate and then we're gonna steam it up on my wok. So let me actually put it onto a plate first and then we're gonna steam it up. And then we're probably gonna eat it from the plate or we'll just pour it back onto here. All right, so this is what the Thai fish curry looks like. So this is the curry fish on this side and this is like the green beans and then the other ingredients in here, if you guys can see it right here. All right, so we just finished plating our first one right here. We're gonna work on the other two as well right now. So let's go do that first. So the next one we're gonna plate is the Mexican steak rancho. We'll put it onto the plate right here. All right, so for this one, you guys can see the steak in here and then we have the cauliflower on this side. So let's put it onto the plate. All right, so I just finished plating this one as well. And this is what it looks like, if you guys can see. There's definitely like a mountain of cauliflower right here, or the veggies itself, and then we have the steak right here. Now let's work on the last and final one and then we're gonna steam all of it up together. All right, so the last and final one that we have right here is a Chinese orange chicken. We're gonna plate this one also on this plate right here and then we're gonna steam all of it together. All right, so this is what the Chinese orange chicken looks like. So we have a lot of veggies right here and then the chicken on the side right here. So let's put it onto the plate now. All right, so we just finished plating our last one right here. And this is what it looks like right here, as you can see. So now let's actually steam all of these together and then we're gonna try it after to see what it actually tastes like and everything. All right, so we just finished steaming all three of them. First one I'm gonna try right here is the Chinese orange chicken. And then we're probably gonna do the Mexican steak or the Thai curry after. So let me try this one first. So first one I'm gonna try is the chicken right here. You guys can see. You guys can definitely smell like the orange chicken flavor and everything. The chicken is pretty good. There's definitely like a lot of flavor onto it. Let me just try a little bit of the veggies now. So the veggies have like some cabbage right here and also has like broccoli and carrots right here, as you see. But let's give it a try and see how this one tastes. So the flavor for the veggie actually tastes really, really good. There's a lot of like the orange chicken flavor like infused on the actual veggies. I actually think there's more of the flavor of the orange chicken infused into the veggies more than the chicken, but both of them are actually really, really good. So, so far so good. This one's actually really good. Let's try the next one. All right, so for the next one that we have right here, this is the Mexican steak rancho. So let's try it out and see what it tastes like. All right, so that's the piece of meat right there, if you can see. Hmm. So the steak actually tastes really, really good. There's actually a lot of flavor onto it. It's made just right, so it's not like too tough or not like too soft. 
It's just right in the middle, which is pretty nice. But next, let's try a little bit of the veggies and see how the veggies taste like. All right, so let's be a little bit careful with this one because we don't drop it all over the table. Hmm. In terms of the broccoli itself, definitely has like a lot of flavor onto it. It tastes really, really good. So, so far, so good. The steak is good. The orange chicken is good. Now let's try the Thai curry fish. All right, so for the last and final one, we have the Thai fish curry right here. So I'll get this small little piece right here. Show you guys what the fish looks like right here. There's definitely like a lot of curry smell on this dish. So that's really good, especially if you guys love curry. But let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Hmm. Definitely a lot of flavor and it's actually really, really good. The fish that they use right here is the basa fish. Definitely has a lot of flavor in terms of like the curry taste. So much of the curry flavor in here. Next, let's try a little bit of veggies. So I believe these are like the eggplants right here, if you guys can see. So this is the eggplant. Let's give it a try and see how this one tastes. Mmm. Definitely the eggplant tastes really, really good. The flavor is not too overpowering. It's just right, which is pretty awesome. But let's try a little bit of the green beans. You guys can see right here, the green beans. Hmm, there's not really much flavor onto it. So if you guys want more flavor, then you guys can actually probably dip the veggies in the actual curry uh, right here. So, so far so good. All these are actually really, really good. I actually like the flavor of all three of these dishes that I tried so far. I'll probably try like, the other dish later on and I'll post it on my Instagram page if you guys want to follow me on there. But so far all these dishes actually taste really, really good. So now that we tried all three of these dishes, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not to actually get this uh, meal plan. Yes, I would definitely have to say that this is pretty worth it if you guys need this uh, meal plan or if you guys want this meal plan. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you who don't want or don't need one or have to one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that actually you do need. But other than that, that's pretty much it for the quick unboxing and testing of the product itself. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, do make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, then make sure to click on that notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today's G-Squad fan shout out day we have.